Here we are, hard at work. No, that's... Oh no, what setting have you got me on? Very bright. Oh no, we don't want that. I need it like dark, show off the tan. <laughs> Oh, the first few days have been really good. Yes, yeah, so kind of got here Monday. Tuesday was still a bit of an easy day, just trying to kind of soak up all the work from Lanzarote, get over the travel day and kind of adjust to being somewhere new. So Tuesday was just easy swim, easy bike, easy run. <laughs> nice chill day. Then Wednesday kind of getting a bit back more to normal stuff. So long swim, long bike, steady run. Thursday was getting a bit more proper work done. So hard swim, and it was a really hard swim. It was basically like 3.9K of threshold, which was really tough. And my arms were definitely feeling the five and a half K swim from Wednesday, but good. Sort of mini fart look run. So it was five by two minutes, five by one minute, five by 30 seconds. So like not anything too hard, but just getting the legs working a little bit. Pretty savage bike session, actually. I decided to jump in with the group bike session just to make it a bit easier with kind of having people around. We had a kind of almost 80K loop that we were doing. Had about 45 minutes warm up. Then first climb, we all set off at intervals and went hard. So I was aiming for sort of around threshold. I was like, I didn't really know what my legs would feel like, but it felt quite good when I got going. I set off first, so I was getting chased. So that was about 12 minutes of work. Then we had a bit of an easy spin for like another 15 minutes or so, and then 15 minutes of work on a sort of flat a bit, kept that one a bit steadier, because we knew that then the last effort was gonna be really hard. Finished off with like, well, for me, it was basically 18 minutes worth of hard work going up colder rats. Good session, definitely like quite a hard day, so celebrated with dinner out. <laughs> Very easy Friday for quite a big weekend. So the weekend is gonna be five hours on the bike on Saturday, run, probably off the bike to be honest, just to get it done, but just like 50 minutes, steady run. And then Sunday I've got a long build run, it's like two hours, like an hour steady, and then basically the last hour just build, not up to anything too fast, just kind of tempo pace, a couple of hours on the bike, and hopefully a bit of a recovery swim, just to kind of keep the feel for the water. So yeah, big weekend, and then easy Monday to recover. Wednesday ride was good, it was pretty chilled. From a company perspective, actually quite hard from a ride perspective. It's all pretty hilly around here. And the route that we went had quite a few steep ramps actually, so you couldn't just spin up steady. You kind of had to put a fair amount of power down. It's not as easy as a usual easy Wednesday ride would be, but really nice. Like just so nice being out here. Like the scenery is amazing. The roads are amazing. Obviously being back with a different group again is nice. So I rode with Jack and Beth and Bron, Lucy Byram. That was it. I was like, was anyone else there that I've forgotten that I was going to get offended? So yeah, that was really nice. Three and a half hours. We had a really long cafe stop because they were a bit useless and they kept bringing us the wrong stuff. So we probably had like an hour's cafe stop, which was quite pleasant. And I think most people were kind of in need of a bit of a sit down. I think everyone was kind of tired on Wednesday. So yeah, very pleasant ride. Actually being quite good being back swimming with the, with the Leeds group. Pretty different. Kind of gone from well, either swimming sort of on my own in Lanzarote in the warm 50 meter pool or trying to keep up with Kat, which was not very successful, slash swimming with the riot guys. I'm sort of one of the faster people. So yeah, coming back to, I guess, reality of <laughs> not being very fast at swimming. But actually, we've got a really nice lane. So we've got three lanes in the local pool and my lane has currently got Will Draper, myself, Bronwyn, Graham Baxter came to join us. Uh, yesterday, so nice little lane of four. It's been quite good. Will is generally very good at keeping his threshold really consistent. So he was banging it all out on 120s, which I was struggling with yesterday. But having him there and swimming consistently just 
It's just good to kind of have that someone to aim for and someone's feet to try and hold on to. Cause has been setting our sets as usual. Kind of feels like being home away from home. Very similar sets to what we get back in Leeds. Definitely starting to ramp it up a bit. Like most of our sets are generally getting a bit longer, <laughs> which is good. But like I'm trying to get quite a lot of volume to get that little bit more strength and endurance. And I think it's paying off. Like I think, you know, I had a really good swim on Tuesday. I think Thursday I was just a bit tired from Wednesday. Um, so yeah, we'll see you next week. If, if I can pick it back up next week and be back on that sort of 120 pace, then I'll feel like the swim's coming on again. Been playing around a bit more with nutrition and the never second stuff. Wednesday's ride, I had 90 grams of carbs in one bottle. So I guess I'd had like a good lunch beforehand and then I had that during the sort of second half of the ride, which kept me pretty well fueled for what's a kind of steady ride. And then yesterday I had 30 grams of carbs for the bike session, which again, because of when it was, so we did the bike session at like three o'clock in the afternoon. So again, I'd had like a really good lunch. I'd sort of recovered from everything else. I had protein shake after my fartlek run and then like a good lunch. So I felt like properly recovered and refueled before the ride. So 30 grams was kind of enough to just keep me topped up. And yeah, and then this weekend I'll be playing around with I guess more race specific nutrition, looking at doubling up, trying to put 180 grams carbs in a bottle, potentially even a bit more than that, depending on what I can get in. So I can start sort of stimulating, stimulating? Simulating, I think it is, not, not stimulating. Simulating race situation, really getting that nailed. Cause I guess this is gonna be new race nutrition for me. So I need to make sure that it, that it works and that it isn't too thick, cause the right consistency is gonna be what I want to actually drink in a race. So I like to have basically a bottle of carbs and a bottle of water that I top up as I go. I know some people like to mix things up. I quite like having the difference of taste of like water is much more hydrating and the, the carb drink is my fuel. There's a fair amount of sodium actually in the ne Never Second products. So I don't really feel like I need to add much more. So if, I think for some of the hotter races like Kona, I'll probably look to add a bit of salt into my water. Again, I need to play around a bit more with the never second products and whether that's enough for me because obviously everyone's sweat rate's a bit different.